guys welcome back okay so today I decided to try out some of the new products that I showed you guys in my last haul y'all know I got a lot of stuff to use and to play with so I decided to play with some stuff today and so that is what you'll see me using in this video I have a foundation I just got powder I just got um, lip product I just got blush all that good stuff oh contour or bronzer as well but the main event is this morphe main event palette okay this is the 24m and you know i've heard a lot of different comments thoughts you know people's opinions about this palette just looking at it and hearing about it is kind of like mm, it's a lot of mixed opinions i was intrigued by it you know because y'all know i love colorful rainbow palettes that's a given so sometimes when I see a palette like this that's kind of more toned down muted a little bit more cool tone or you know just not so colorful it's intriguing to me and I see it as a challenge colorful palettes I don't see it as a challenge but this I do <laughs> so this was intriguing to me um, I like the arrangement of colors that they put in here it is one of those palettes where it's for someone who really does like to play around and experiment with different mediums on their eyes because there are glitters, shimmers, like metallics, mattes, and this bottom row down here, these are all water activated liners. Now, I didn't know that when I was first looking at this palette because, you know, I just assumed those were eyeshadows. Those were the colors that I wanted to play with on my eyes, but come to find out, they're water activated liners and I did use one today so you will be able to see that in action but um, she retails for $29 on the Morphe website it is a collab palette with MMM Mitchell Mama Mitchell and Daisy Maskell but they did a whole little collection that has like brushes little brush bags some lip crayons you know to go along with this main event palette but of course I just got the palette because this is all that I cared about so anyways I don't want to talk too much because I am going to show you my whole face in this video and me trying out these new products but I will go ahead and insert some swatches so you guys can kind of check them out um the palette you know I was actually kind of surprised at how it swatched I expected it to swatch worse than it did <laughs> but it actually swatched fine even the um water activated liners uh, those worked out just fine when I swatched them add a little water and everything I mean me personally I don't like that just because of the fact that you know when you put the water in the pan it you know it just makes the pan look ugly you know you can see like the darker areas where the water was but whatever so anywho just want you guys to see some swatches now let's go ahead and jump into today's face okay guys so i'm starting out today by trying out this covergirl pencil that i picked up never tried it before it's the ultra fine brow pencil the shade i have is rich brown and i quickly realized that this color is not dark enough for me i like my brows to be pretty dark and this pencil just was not working out so i decided to go ahead and go in with my pure pencil and complete my brows and move on <laughs> so i'm setting my lids with my p louise base in the shade rumor 04 just creating a nice even base for this eye look today now going into the palette i decided to start out with kind of like a transition shade something kind of soft and light so I'm using one of the colors that's actually one of the water activated liner shades just to kind of use to transition in my crease and upper brow area. So now I'm going into this kind of pumpkin orange shade. It's called 1970 and I'm just placing that gently in my crease. I don't want this color to be bold or loud. So I'm taking my time and just slowly building that up right in my crease area. I want it to just create some warmth for this look, but not to really be a main color for this eye look. I really want to focus on some deeper shades. Next, I'm going into this dark navy blue shade at the bottom. And I'm using one of my DJ's Unique Boutique brushes. Um, she does have some of these wonderful brushes on her website, so make sure you check them out. I do have a link down in my description box 
to check out her website. But I'm just taking that and placing that in the outer and inner corners of my eye for this look. Now what I will say about these water activated shadows or shades, they aren't as pigmented as regular shadows in my opinion. I feel like you do have to build them up a little bit more and the pigmentation is a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit, I don't know, it's just not the same as a regular shadow to me. But as you can see, you can use it as a regular shadow. So next I'm going into this kind of like army green type shade and I'm tapping that right next to that blue. I wanted these two colors really to be the main focus of this eye look today. So I'm just putting that next to that blue, both in the inner and outer corners. And once again, I'm just going back and forth into the palette and building that up slowly. I think the green was a little bit harder to build up than the blue, but they did blend together nicely. Now for my lid, I just wanted to do something simple. So I just took that silver shade and the name of that is Silver Haze. And I'm just using my finger as you guys can see. I don't have any nails on so I can use my fingers today. And just tapping that in the center of my lid and just gently blending it into that green taking that brush with that orange and just kind of blending out that crease area. Nothing, you know, too difficult. Very, very easy look. So I'm just cleaning up underneath my eyes. Now I decided to go ahead and try out one of the water activated liners. I wasn't going to at first, but I said, hey, you know, I'm testing the palette out. Let me test one out. So decided to go into this kind of like bricky red color to use that as an eyeliner today. And as you can see, it worked out really nicely. Uh, when I swiped it on my hand, I was like, okay, well, we cooking with grease today. So I just went in and used that as my eyeliner. Just created a basic wing for this look. Um, I did have to, you know, go over it, I would say at least twice just to get the pigmentation as dark as I wanted it to be. But I don't have any complaints. I think it worked out nicely. So moving on to the face, I'm using my Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer today for my um, face. And I wanted to test out these Huda Beauty foundations. They're not new, but they're new to me. So I picked up two shades. The first one I'm swatching is Coco. And as you can see, it's a little lighter, but it does match my neck and my chest. The other shade I picked up is Nutmeg, just slightly deeper. So honestly, I feel like I could use either one of these shades, but I decided to go with the darker shade of Nutmeg today. So this is what the foundation looks like. And I'm just going in with two pumps as you saw, and I slightly dampened my um, brush to apply this foundation. I really like this foundation, you guys. It does have a slight scent. From the way people talk about the scent, I expected just this crazy perfume smell, but honestly, it was so faint that I really could barely smell it. So, I really like this foundation. I like the finish. I like the colors I chose. I think both of them will work nicely for me. So, this is what it's looking like, first impression. Now I did decide to use my Juvia's Place concealer today. I didn't want to use anything new just because of the fact that I feel like I'm testing out enough products today. So went ahead and used my favorite concealer. I use a shade 11 just in case you're curious. And I love this concealer, you guys. It is just <laughs> the bomb to me. It has amazing coverage. I can blend it out with a sponge and I don't have to worry about lifting up all of my concealer. It blends into all of my foundations very easily. I just, I love this concealer. So I'm trying out a new product from my girl DJ's Boutique. This is her loose powder in the shade Honey. Yes, she dropped some powder on you guys and I'm trying it out for the first time today. I had no worries because my girl always drops the heat. And as you can see, once I apply this powder, <laughs> this is no different. You see how smooth that is under my eyes, you guys. So super smooth. It goes on nice and soft. It's not cakey. It's light. 
and it held my face in place all day so definitely check it out I do have her link down below like I said now to set the rest of my face I'm just going in with my kiss pro touch matte powder foundation this is not new I really really like this powder from kiss very affordable you can find this online at your beauty supplies I really like it so to bronze I'm trying out this revolution pro sculpting bronzer I mean, I love the richness of this bronzer. It's like it has that slight hint of redness to it, but not too much, you know what I mean? It just, it looks nice and warm. It's definitely buildable. It's not a bronzer where you're gonna go in and be like, oh crap, I put too much on. You definitely can build this up to, you know, the level of pigment that you would like on your face and I really like it I really do I kind of feel like I wish I had used a larger brush like I normally do but I was trying something different today but I still like it so for blush we're using the playing and makeup by Yolando bloom blush palette today and I'm using the shade tulips look at that pigmentation you guys I tried to pick a color that was kind of close to the same color as my eyeliner and I think it's pretty close I think it's pretty close and this blush is really really nice very pigmented and it lasts on your face it doesn't fade very pretty now finally trying out this loose highlighter you guys from what is it zodiac cosmetics in the shade zeus i've had this in my shop my stash for a while and just hadn't tried it out this highlighter is gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful it's a little bit more glittery than i like and i hate to say that because it's not super glittery but it's not that just smooth, wet look that I typically fall in love with, but just as a highlighter in general, it's really, really nice, you guys. I think it's pretty. So anyways, I'm just going in, popping on some lashes before I move on to my lower lash line. Uh, these lashes, hmm, I'm not sure. I'll have to find the box. I'll put it in the description box. But yeah, I just put those on for today. Now for my lower lash line, I'm using a LA Girl eyeliner. And I think I'm so used to the bright, vivid neon liners that when I put on a regular color like this one, it just does not look bright to me. <laughs> I'm like, where's the color? But it's there, you can see the blue. Now I'm going back into that navy blue shade and I'm just taking a fat pencil type brush and just smoking out my lower lash line. And as you can see, very, very pretty, very nice. Now for my inner corner, I'm going back into that silver shade and just popping that in my inner corner. I really like that silver, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think if I use it on my lid again, I probably put like a light base underneath it just to make it pop even more, but it's really, really pretty. For my lower lashes, I'm still using my Maybelline Lash Discovery. This is a really nice mascara, you guys, for your lower lashes. I mean, it works for mine. For lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner because I want to try out this new lip gloss that my girl Lily sent to me. This one is from a brand called Laced with Cherry, black-owned brand, and the name of this lip gloss is Jinx. I love this lip gloss, you guys. It is so, so nice. I definitely would suggest checking them out. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Now to set this place, this face in place, I'm going in with my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Spray. And just finishing this look up and this is the final look for all of these products that I tried today you guys I would have to say I've pretty much loved everything that I used um, the only thing that like I said was not my favorite was the highlighter but everything from the foundation to DJ's powder to the blush and even the eyeshadow palette I was pleasantly surprised by this morphe palette you guys but I like it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles.